This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. So is Donald Trump finally right about something? If so, he is going to be super bummed. Remember all the rampant voter fraud that Donald Trump was blathering on about after the election? Bragging about winning the Electoral College in his non-existent landslide and that he would have won the popular vote if not for the millions of people who voted illegally. And later claiming that there was a serious voter fraud in Virginia and New Hampshire and right here in California. And in April, when delivering remarks at a jobs forum in West Virginia, he rambled like a tinfoil hat wearing lunatic about completely unsubstantiated conspiracy theories, adding not to worry because a lot of things are being straightened out. For that reason, because they're not going to be voting with us for the most part. A lot of them aren't going to be voting. A lot of times it doesn't matter because in many places, like California, the same person votes many times. You probably heard about that. They always like to say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Not a conspiracy theory, folks. Millions and millions of people. And it's very hard because the state guards their records. They don't want to see it. So we have a lot of things going on, but a lot of things are being straightened out. Well, it appears Donald Trump was right about voter fraud, but it's not in Virginia, nor New Hampshire, or here in California. And it's not being perpetrated by Democrats. The latest example of the un-American nature of the Trump's Republican Party is once again in North Carolina, specifically the 9th Congressional District and the race between extreme right-wing nutter butter pastor Republican Mark Harris who believes the Earth was created fewer than 10,000 years ago, and United States Marine veteran Democrat Dan McCready. So follow me here. In November's election, Harris seemingly beat McCready by only 905 votes. But after looking at a bunch of shady irregularities, the state's Board of Elections decided in a 9-0 to vote not to certify the results. Keep in mind that the Board of Elections is made up of four Republicans, four Democrats, and one single independent. And all nine voted not to certify the results. The suspicions of the Board of Elections and their call for an investigation into voter fraud centered around absentee ballots in this race. First, It should be said that the Democrat, Dan McCready, prevailed in the absentee vote in seven of eight counties that make up the 9th Congressional District. Seven out of eight. All of them except Bladen County. And their suspicions were rightfully aimed squarely on Bladen, where Harris won an unusually, almost impossibly high share of the mail-in absentee ballot votes. Bladen was the only county where the Republicans prevailed in the mail-in absentee vote, winning 61% of the votes for mail-in ballots, despite Republicans only accounting for 19% of the county's returned absentee ballots. You see, only 19% of Bladen County's accepted absentee ballots were cast by registered Republicans. 42% were cast by registered Democrats, and then the other 39 by unaffiliated or independent voters. Look at these data from 538. Bladen County's absentee ballot count makes up the absolutely highest percentage of the total vote count at 7.3%, which is double any other two counties combined. Also, there is a clear departure from the trend of Democratic voters utilizing the absentee option. The other suspicious thing that the Bipartisan Board of Elections is looking into is that Bladen County, there is an unusually high percentage of absentee ballots requested by black voters, which were then never mailed back. 40%, in fact, yeah. In Bladen County, 40% of absentee ballots that were requested by black North Carolina voters were just never mailed back, which is freakishly suspicious because no other county exceeded 27%. And the total for white voters is only 17%. 
And now that this likely fraud is being uncovered, the Board of Elections is starting to look into the primary election as well. Because Harris only beat his opponent, the Republican incumbent, Robert Pittenger, by 828 votes. And this was in a primary election where Mark Harris claimed 96% of the absentee ballots in Bladen County which is an unrealistically higher margin than the rest of his own totals in the other counties. So here is what is being uncovered by journalist Joe Bruno at WSOC in Charlotte. There's a guy named Leslie McRae Dowless Jr., who has a criminal history involving perjury and fraud, who was hired by the Harris campaign and in turn hired several people to illegally collect absentee ballots from voters many of them elderly people of color. In copies of absentee ballots obtained by Joe Bruno and WSOC, he has uncovered that these people working for McRae Dowless were signed as witnesses to dozens and dozens and dozens of absentee ballots, nearing 200. In fact, in a sworn affidavit submitted to the Board of Elections, one voter says that a woman came to her house and asked for her absentee ballot because she was collecting them, and the voter made her choice for only two offices on the ballot, but still gave her ballot to the woman, who said that she would fill out the rest. Another voter in the same affidavit says a woman came to her house and claimed she was responsible for collecting absentee ballots. The voter filled out her ballot while the woman waited, the woman then took the ballot, but never asked the voter to sign it and did not put it into a sealed envelope. And yet another person, Dwight Shepard, says he overheard people talking outside a polling station on election day who said a well-known local operative, Leslie McRae Dowless Jr., would be paid a $40,000 bonus if Harris won the election. It should be known that just the act of picking up and or delivering someone else's ballot who is not a close relative is illegal. And certainly filling out the remainder of someone's ballot is absolutely a crime. So the connection to all of this is this McRae Dowless guy who was super open to questions when approached by Joe Bruno with WSOC. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. He gave the old no comment. Were you paying people to pick up ballots? Yes, sir. I have no comment. I'm great. Did Mark Harris tell you to pick up ballots? So who is it that respects the sacred election process in this country? And who should we be worried about voter fraud coming from? There is certainly no evidence of it from Democrats being involved. And given the Republican obsession with voter suppression, especially in the South against black voters, Maybe Donald Trump should knock the dust off his defunct voter fraud commission and start looking into his own damn party.